Hello everybody and welcome to another photography talk and this time I want to talk to you about what I learned in my previous studio is as a professional experience as a personal experience and so on Before we begin a little message from a sponsor that is La Dolce Vita workshops if you ever desire to experience La Dolce Vita and bring that uh, style in your picture. You want to have a nice workshop where you can spend a week in Italy, see beautiful places, create uh, images that are our winning and have a lot of fun. Just check out La Dolce Vita workshops. I'm involved with that so that will be a lot of fun. As I anticipated uh, in a previous video, I'm uh, in the process of uh, cleaning up uh, my attic and transform it in a photographic studio. In that attic uh, there were a lot of things, there are really a ton of things that were accumulated by three generations of serial accumulators and uh, there's also everything that I brought from my former studio in the uh, head home just for storage when I decided to uh, have some different experience in life. So I started to clean it up and one of the first thing I had to do is to clean up all the documents and everything that was correlated to you know the fiscal part of uh, managing uh, a studio and it was uh, a business that uh, was going on from 1994 to 2000, 2011 so uh, right now I'm out of the period of time that I it's mandatory to keep everything because here in Italy you have to keep all documents for at least 10 years uh, so I'm out of that and I decided to clean everything take all the documents uh, trash the documents uh, and uh, cut the documents in little pieces so destroy the documents so uh, people cannot just get them in the trash and uh, um, go on with that during this first step, something came to my mind, and it is uh, uh, what I did right and what I did wrong. It is kind of fun to see now what I did uh, that was uh, correct uh, and what I did that I screwed up. It's normal in life. Uh, when we do something new, we usually do something that is correct and uh, something that is wrong. So, I was uh, thinking about that, watching all the documents, watching all the clients and uh, everything else and uh, I decided this is an important thing to communicate to the people. If you want to open a studio, if you want to do something similar, these videos can help you and I want to do a little series on different matters. As a premise, just uh, a little story of myself and what was this. I was uh, a student in physics and uh, I had passion for photography since I was a kid. I decided in 1994, I was uh, still a student, but uh, I decided uh, to start to open a business. I had some people that asked me to do some photographs. I want to do it uh, legally, so I decided to open a business. By the way, Talking about mistakes, uh, that was a kind of mistake because the Italian regulations are a little bit screwed up. But um, I decided in 1994, still a student, and I went on. In uh, 1999, I think, uh, that became uh, my full-time profession. So I rented a place uh, for the studio, it was a very big place, uh, very nice in the industrial area of the city. This is another choice that I made and uh, uh, I went on until 2011. 2011 I had enough. I was in a situation that I was growing my business a lot but uh, uh, the, actually the income part was not growing enough. Um, I had some uh, situation that I didn't like. It's very difficult to make business in Italy. If you try to expand, there's uh, always some punishment arriving from the government. So uh, I had the really enough of these things. And uh, the drop that was uh, the too much money, let the, all the water falls out of the vase, uh, 
was actually that uh, one day I arrived in my studio and I had an invasion of bats. Uh, there were bats that uh, arrived in the uh, in the roof. There was the fake ceiling and the, the ceiling uh, over that. The bats uh, went in there. Uh, I was taking pictures uh, to a kid, by the way, and uh, I remember that I was taking pictures. I saw something fall down from the ceiling, uh, just uh, probably three feet uh, behind the kid, and it was uh, a little bat. And I discovered that we were filled up with bats. Uh, at a certain point, bats started to drop down this, the ceiling. So I called uh, uh, the proper people for the animal protection and all these kind of things. So that is, uh, they are the ones supposed to call when something like that happened. And uh, when they arrived, and basically, this was uh, just a fun note about this because uh, there was this beautiful, beautiful girl beautiful woman that arrived and I was thinking wow she is very nice and as soon as I opened the door of my studio uh, there was uh, a little dead bat uh, on the floor and she bent down took this bat in his head this dead bat and started to caress it and oh poor bat and caress it like that so all my sexual attraction uh, disappeared at the moment it was really mm, no way <laughs> so there was just uh, uh, a nice fact in, in these things but uh, um, she arrived and what i discovered that uh, i could not send the bats away so i had bats that invaded my space they were not there before something like that and there was no way to send them away and I said, yeah, but he's a risk for, you know, hygienic risk and a problem like that. And the answer was, oh, yeah, so probably we have to cause, uh, to prohibit you to use the business for a month or two until they, until they go away. And I was, are you freaking kidding me? By law, I'm weaker than bats. And that, me, that made me really realize that I had enough. So... I pick up the phone, call my accountant and told him I want the studio closed. It was August, I decided I want the studio closed the 2nd of September. And uh, yeah, there's a meaning on the date, if you get it, uh, you know what I mean. And uh, so that was my thing. Uh, after that, uh, my idea was to start to explore new option in the world. So I went uh, through Florida for, to see if I uh, could uh, open a business there uh, and to prepare everything. So that was uh, positive. Uh, I decided, okay, something that I can do. So I ended up staying uh, six plus six months. So just to not uh, overstay the visa, I went back and again, uh, I prepared everything to be ready to open the business, start to work. Obviously, I could not have worked there uh, with a business visa, so uh, all my things was investing money and uh, uh, create the basis to go on. What happened is that uh, uh, the immigration laws in USA are an absolute mess for legal people. Uh, you see, uh, a lot of illegals crossing the borders right now seven million this year but if you are a legal one if you want to do things uh, in the right way it's absolutely a mess so i ended up coming back uh, at the end of uh, 2012 coming back to italy to not overstay my visa that was the essential part and uh, uh, when i arrived back uh, there were different things first of all uh, it was not uh, that easy at the moment to think I go back again, I start the process again for uh, different kind of uh, visas and this kind of things. Uh, I wanted to wait a little to see some changes in the USA because really the system was uh, uh, kind of screwed up and in those years uh, all the legal system changed a lot and not in favor of legal people. So I came back home and what I found here was uh, that my parents uh, were starting to get uh, pretty old and they needed me. So 
uh, it was worth. Uh, I decided I would take care of them. It's, uh, it's something that uh, is important uh, for me to do. They were so great all my life, so I decided to take care of them. And I did it. Uh, and the idea was to eventually try something else uh, uh, after they passed away. Uh, I took care of them, uh, it was uh, something that uh, I will never regret. And uh, uh, 2018, after they both passed away, uh, was time for me to think again what to do. I was thinking to get back uh, to try again the investor visa, this kind of things for the USA, but uh, uh, COVID arrived. Uh, 2019, co beginning of 2019, COVID arrived. So, uh, technical time to think, uh, okay, I can liquidate some assets and this kind of things. COVID arrived. Everything got stuck in the world and everything got screwed up. So, I decided last year to open again uh, my business. I start to work here. Uh, for now, I work at renting a studio when I need it and this kind of things. But uh, now the time is to create a new studio. And uh, looking at my past experience, I decided to uh, open in the house here. It's a beautiful uh, house with uh, really a ton of room. There's a, the attic is very huge. So I will open the studio there, just uh, uh, keeping the expenses as low as possible. And this is because to be uh, to have a treatment that fiscally is still decent uh, we have to use in Italy a system uh, that is kind of a limited business so you can do certain amount of income every year but you cannot detract the expenses uh, they assume that you um, everything you invoice there's 20% are the expenses and 80% is uh, uh, what you earn. To stay inside the 20% uh, is kind of uh, almost impossible if you rent a place and this kind of things and uh, uh, if you go with a normal business it's such a mess. I did it and I don't want to repeat uh, that story. So this is the little story of my life uh, in the last years and how it went and now I'm uh, Clean up, I found uh, all the documents from my old business and by the way, just to give you an idea, is uh, two meter and a half, so is uh, by three is uh, seven, eight feet of uh, documents stuck one on each other, paper like this, and I had to get them, read them all, destroy them in the, in the trasher, in the destroyer, I don't know the term, and bring them away. This just for the fiscal part of the business. But looking and at all those documents, uh, I had the opportunity to think about the business and what I did right and what I did wrong. And if you like to follow me on this, I will do different videos with uh, different lessons that I learned based on different argument. And by the way, something that I tell you, I was very lucky because uh, when I was uh, a teenager, I helped uh, a local photographer, became a very good friend, and uh, uh, I was helping him. So when I opened my studio, I already had his experience and I absorbed his experience so that really made life easier but if you didn't have that opportunity there's something I suggest if you want to open a studio follow these videos and I will give you a few lessons of uh, what I learned that I did right and I did wrong thank you very much for watching and seeing you in the first uh, video of this lesson learned series and uh, I will talk about what I learned on equipment